Welcome to the channel everyone. Uh, today, or tonight, hopefully I'm going to get my uh, Blueprint 400. I'm going to get this thing painted um, along with the water pump here. This is just a um, steel water pump. Uh, it actually come with a kit. I'll show you when I do the assembly. It came with a, a certain kit that I got for all the accessories, but I wanted it to, to be the same color as the block. Just kind of give it an old school kind of, uh, kind of a feel. Uh, I actually thought about painting the aluminum heads and stuff. Uh, actually intake aluminum heads and stuff. Um, the, the Chevy orange or whatever, but you know, to give it more of an old school look. But I think, I think I'm just gonna leave the aluminum heads and the aluminum intake. I gotta tape them off right now. I just kind of cleaned it off, wiped it down so the tape will stick. Now I gotta run around and tape off the heads and the intake and uh, a few other things. I gotta tape off the the engine stand. I don't want the engine stand all all painted either. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing tonight. So I gotta get to get the taping so I can get some uh, primer on this thing. Okay, so you see I've got it taped up. <clears throat> uh, I've used some combination of uh, 320 sandpaper and some uh, Scotch-Brite scuff pads to scuff this up. You can see I got it leaned over the one side uh, because that's the side I was just working on. Uh, this is actually gonna make it pretty easy to paint this, well, it's gonna make it easier to paint it because I'll be able, I should be able to lean it from side to side and get probably a better paint job on it than um, I would have normally. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. It's a lot of tape, a bunch of newspaper. Uh, I got my oil filter in there. I, I taped that up. I know it's gonna make it harder to get in there, but I'm not doing a hundred thousand. Uh, dollar restoration. I'm just doing a, a daily driver uh, restoration guys so um, I'll spray the paint in there the best I can. It'll 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 be fine. Just just didn't want to get paint up in that where that oil filter goes. So yeah I got to I'm gonna wipe it down with my cleaner that I always use before I paint. And this will be ready to um, epoxy prime. I'll hit that water pump same time. And yeah, I'm going to take a break. I'll be back and we'll be probably painting this thing. Okay, so I'm on my, my paint uh, bench thing that I got. Total mess, but try not to concentrate on that. I'm going to spray some uh, black epoxy primer. Uh, on this thing. Um, epoxy primer is a really tough good primer so it should be a good base uh, for the for the color for this motor. Um, usually in the past I've done etching primer which again is a really tough uh, primer that etches itself right into the metal but uh, I got some of that but I'm going to save that for dad's motor uh, because um, 
I need to match need to match the paint I did on his valve covers and intake uh, right now my motor is brand new I have nothing to match so I don't uh, have to worry about that so I'm gonna go with the black because that's what I have um, yeah just mixed it up all paints have different ratios guys I use these mixing cups and that's how I mix uh, my paint um, I rarely use uh, paint cans rattle cans I do not like rattle cans to me that paint is junk um, this is the only uh, rattle can that I like to use it's it's the hard hat rust-oleum or the industrial rust-oleum um, that's like the only uh, paint in a can that I actually will use I do sometimes use cans if I don't really care uh, about what I'm using it on but for the most part I like to use the automotive type paints because they're so much more durable they look better everything about them is is, is better um, yeah so I uh, <clears throat> got that little uh, kind of a quick tip here I've got these cans here and they're they're steel they got a they got a top here and a lot of times these cans the lids will lock up turn them around and give them give them a couple good smacks on, on a hard surface and a lot of times that will break these loose so if you get one of these stuck turn it around smack it a good 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 few wax and um, that usually frees them up so I'm gonna get my paint here in my gun I'm gonna start the uh, uh, ventilator on the shop here and um, yeah we'll get to priming this stuff Okay, so the first coat is down. Just gotta wait uh, the flash time. I'm gonna put the uh, second coat on here, and then if I have any extra, I'll, I'll probably lay it down just, just to use it up. But yeah, it's, um, it's looking good. A few spots I see, I, I, I'm a little thin, but I'll get them on the second, uh, second go around here. Okay, so time for the color, and there it is all mixed up. Uh, this is actually um, Hugger Orange. Uh, Pontiac, I believe, called it Carousel Red. Uh, I think they had a few different names for it uh, in the different uh, divisions. But it's a pretty close match to uh, the Chevy Orange that they put on the motors. So we did that with Dad's car. Actually, we were going to paint Dad's car Hugger Orange at one point. 
and uh, we had some and we painted his engine and it looked really good so that's what I'm gonna do here so I'm gonna get that loaded in the gun and we're gonna start uh, painting the stuff orange All right, so it is nice and orange now. Really looks good. So I'm gonna put some, some clear on it again. I'm not putting clear on it to, to be shiny. It's a, it's a low gloss clear. I'll show you once I get it down. I'm not gonna film the clear. I don't, I don't film the clear most of the time because I, it's, it's pretty bad stuff. It gets all over my camera and this is a brand new camera, so I'm definitely not going to set my camera up and let the clear coat get all over the lens. So I'll get this cleared. Uh, maybe I'll show you when I mix it up and I'll uh, show you the, the end result. Okay, so here's the clear coat mixed up. I only got five ounces mixed up. I uh, might, need, might need some more than that, but uh, that's, that's all it is, guys. It's just, it looks clear. Um, I ain't going to need a ton of this because I'm not going to lay it down real heavy. Uh, the heavier you lay this low the satin stuff down, you get more of a shine. I don't really want to shine. I want a, I want a really matte finish to it. So uh, I'm not going to lay a ton of it down. This is really just more for a little more protection on, uh, on the paint, make it a little stronger. So I'm going to get this in the gun. I'm going to get this thing cleared and we'll see what she looks like. Well, there it is, guys. All painted, unwrapped. Uh, I got the water pump just uh, loosely bolted on, just to get it out of the way. I also found uh, a fitting I had from the my big block that should work, stainless steel. So pretty good. Uh, it's not it's not a perfect job, but for a really nice daily driver, it's it turned out real nice. I'm real happy with it. You can see it's not um, super shiny. It's very matte finish, which is what I wanted. So I guess that's going to do it for this one, guys. I'm um, going to be working on the valve covers. I kind of teased you with a picture of those. So I'll be working on those next. And once I get that done, I've got everything. I think I got everything uh, to put this motor together. So it should be running on the run stand here shortly. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you.